Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome to this class. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Boris. Are you driving today, Boris? Are you at home? I am home, teacher. Oh, great. I am home. Okay, nice, nice. Good evening, eh, Salvador. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm happy today. How about you? Are you happy too? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you worried? How are you today? A little tired. Tired. Um, okay. Tired. Mm, yeah. Okay. So... But we are almost at the end and we are going to have enough, well, let's say plenty of time to have some rest, okay? To have some rest. Maybe we are going to sleep eight hours for about uh, one and a half week, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have plans for... Uh, this next Saturday, do you have plans? Mm, Father's no. Day celebration. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Depend yeah. of my my wife. Yeah. Ah, okay. So yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's going to be a surprise for you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you I will have so. a surprise. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yes. Okay, people, I hope everybody is okay. Edwin, do you have plans for the, uh, this next Saturday? So, no, I don't have plans for this Saturday. Uh, okay. I only stay in home. Okay, it's June the 17th. So we have holiday, yeah? Public holiday. Yes. Yes, we can rest. The whole day, right? <laughs> yes. All right. We are eating pupusas, right? Saturday. <laughs> On Saturday, Always. we are. Yes, yes. I know you like pupusas. Mm -hmm. yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Well, I'm happy that everybody is here now. We are going to start a class. Today, we have. Mm, the same topic in, uh, in the mat. So we want to talk about the brand awareness and also we want to express ideas clarifying what we mean when we say something. It's important to know in grammar how to use these expressions because we are used to um, we're used to explain, right? We're used to give more information or make a summary of information, make it shorter or make it clear, okay? So we're used to that mostly in professional fields or in the workplaces. We need to express formally our ideas. So this is why we are... a um, uh, studying tonight the expressions we can use when we want to clarify some ideas. Um, this is simple, let's say this is simple, but sometimes we have kind of 
some kind of dots how to use this. So let's make this clear and let's try to identify the ways to form or to structure these expressions, okay? Uh, in the conversation we were uh, practicing yesterday, we have two of them. So we're going to start by our feedback. Allow me to introduce the class. Mm, today, our class is about mm, a piece of grammar and also vocabulary. So this is your class number 23. Welcome, everybody. This is your class 23 and the topic the topic tonight is use of expressions to clarify a point or an idea, okay? Your position, uh, let's say, mindly speaking, right? What you think about your opinion, right? So we want to clarify ideas, opinions, concepts, definitions, terms, and everything we want to clarify is a possible using these expressions we're going to study tonight, okay? So today's our class number 23. And the objective tonight is to identify them, to structure these expressions, right? Use the expressions to clarify someone's point, okay? Someone's point, not necessarily it's our opinion, maybe it's the opinion of any other author that we want to express or make clear for someone else, right? In our agenda tonight, we have our feedback about the brand awareness, and the vocabulary about branding awareness stages. Also, we um, will be talking about how to use expressions to clarify ideas. And we have some written exercises in the manual that we want to solve as a matter of practice. And the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is available. Okay, so if you are able to stay the 10 more minutes after the class because you have thoughts or questions or opinions that you want to clarify, okay, then you may stay, but let me know, okay? So here we are. Okay, people, mm, let's start by uh, giving some definitions, using the vocabulary, all right? Using the vocabulary. And let's remind uh, what is brand awareness, okay? What is that? What is referring to and what are the elements involved? What are the stages in these, um, let's say, a group of strategies 
that we want to apply in order to uh, do our marketing plan, right? We want to consider what is brand awareness? What is that? So let's go right here. Um, brand Warner is a position, a position, position, I mean, position in the mean the, the the product or the mark or, or the or the brand in the consumer. Exactly. Okay. So let's say one word will be positioning. Position. Positioning. Right. Another term will be customer's mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else is brand awareness, guys? One word. One word you remember. The, the brand known recognition. Recognition, yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Recall. You said something, brand name, right? Or you say noun, but the correct word is name, right? Brand name. Uh huh. Have you ever heard about this word, brand uh, new? Okay, brand recall. Si conocen este término, brand new. Conocen este término. New is a nueva, nueva marca. Okay, brand new means that you are a, acquiring a product that no one else has wore, uh, has worn, okay? Uh, brand new, for example, I bought this computer brand new, de paquete, okay? Como de paquete, ¿sí? Es como nuevecita, ya. Yeah. Es de marca y es nuevecita y es de paquete. Yo la estoy estrenando. So something like that is brand new. Y se usa como un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Para un objeto. Uh, for example, you can say, usualmente para aparatos así, brand new, ¿verdad? Que lo compró en un full price and brand new. Uh, por ejemplo, I bought a stove brand new. Okay, brand new. No es que es de marca nueva, sino que usted la compró de paquete. Así que ese es un término bastante bonito que lo pueden ya incluir en su vocabulario. Okay, so brand recall, brand name, recognition, and you say another thing. Do you remember? What is brand awareness? Top of me, teacher. Okay, top of mind. Okay. Esta palabra mind es bien interesante en inglés porque se usa para, tiene muchísimos usos, pero en este caso estamos hablando de la mente, ¿verdad? De eh, la memoria, la mente, ¿sí? ¿Han oído esta otra expresión? Never mind. Es una... Eh, expresión, así como dijimos, brand new, una expresión. Pero never mind. A friend, a friend mind. Never mind. Uh, for me, is nunca más. Exactly. Ah, ya no le pongas cuidado, ¿verdad? Ya no pienses en eso. So, never mind. Olvídalo, right? Something like that. Okay. This was just an it's expression with. I'm sorry? It's a point. Is it? From oh. Edgar Allan Poe. Never mind. Oh, no, oh. never more. Sorry. <laughs> Nunca más. It's never oh, more. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Well, we want to hear you. <laughs> we want to hear you saying it. Do you know it? Uh, yeah. Can you declaim it? I'm sorry. I, I, um, no me lo sé. Ah, no me okay. lo puedo bien. Okay, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know with memorized. All right, no problem. 
Okay, top of mind. Any other term that you remember that uh, describes what brand awareness is? Brand awareness. Dominance. All right, dominance. Mm -hmm. Preference. Preferences. Mm -hmm. Re Could not re brand. Re re I'm sorry? Re reaction. 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 Okay, reaction. Usted me dijo una palabra ahorita así, rejection. Rejection significa rechazarlo o rechazar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Eso sería eso, yes. rejection. Pero tenemos reaction también. Reaction, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, reaction es reaccionar a algo, ¿verdad? All right. Mm -hmm. And Hosman, what did you say? Aún no brand. Unknown brand, yes. Unknown brand. Mm -hmm. brand. The uh, It's right here. Ah, yeah, Recognition. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Reconnection. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what is involved in the recalling? Loyal, and, loyal, oh, loyal. Oh, yes. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. Loyalty. All right, good. Okay, people, I'm going to cut this. Okay. Y les voy a pedir a todos que entren a la pizarra. Okay. Yo voy a ir diciendo una de las palabras y ustedes la van escribiendo acá. Sí. Vamos a cambiar la forma de presentar. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Uh -huh. So let's write the words I'm going to say. So everybody, please come to the board and you're going to write what, what you listen. All right, there we go. There you are. All right, let's start. Let's start by positioning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Mm -hmm. Arboris. Okay, Elias, thank you. All right. I will clear all drawings and let's go with the other one. Brand awareness. Brand awareness.
Okay, very good. Thank you. Clearing all drawings. Brand recall. Good. Hmm. Clearing all drawings. All right, thank you. Unknown brand. Very good. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Clearing old drawings. Eh, Rafael, ahí hay que chequear, ¿verdad? Unknown. All right. Okay. Clearing old drawings. Customer's mind. Ah. <laughs> Customer's mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's correct, Boris. Okay, Elias, that is correct. Customer's mind. Yeah, uh, it sounds letter S. If you write customer's mind as who was this one? ¿Quién escribió este azulito que está de este lado, abajo de este verde oscuro? This is correct too, okay? This is correct too, because according to the context, we will understand that it is a possessive, right? Or if it is a plural noun, all right? So it's okay like this, it's okay like, that, like this, and it's not a problem because we don't have a context, all right? All right. Okay, next one, visual elements and resources. Visual elements and resources. Very good, Kevin. Uh, I no can see a ver quién me puso este. Who did this I... one? Okay, Wilbur, that's correct. And resources, that's correct. Here is a resource. So we need the letter S, Kevin. Yeah, visual element. And this one was, if I'm not wrong, Edwin, right? Ah, Boris, okay. Okay, letter S is missing here. All right, good. I will clear all drawings. Let's go to another one, okay? Showcasing, showcasing, showcasing. I'm not. Uh huh. I'm not sure, but here we are. Okay. Mm, all right. You have. Half of the work correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, 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 it's not correct, Boris. Showcasing. Okay, I will write it for you, okay? It is showcasing. Así como envitrinar, ¿verdad? O poner a la vista, yeah? Something like that. Showcasing. Ayer hablábamos y dijimos esta palabra. No la definimos porque estaba dentro de un párrafo que leímos. Ok. Showcasing. Now, 
Voy a borrar. I will clear all drawings. And everybody, top of mind. Top of mind. Yes, top of mind. Okay, great. Good. And the last one, I will uh, take the last one, right? Recognition. Yes, Elias, that's correct. Very good, Rafael. Great, Boris. Well done, Kevin. Good, Wilbur. All right, there we are. There we are. So let's uh, remember some concepts now, complete concepts. Okay. We said that there are different models according to the kind of product you offer according to the kind of business you're in, uh, also according to the people or the market you are offering your products to. And also the macroeconomics can affect our strategies. So we have to adapt them, all right? You have to adapt um, instead of being killed, right? Instead of being killed by the microeconomic uh, situations. All right, so let's look at the last model we studied, okay? The last model was the first point of this model is exactly the same as the other models. And it's related to the brain, I'm sorry, the brand identity, right? And you have to increase your exposure. You have to be present anywhere, everywhere, your visual elements who defines what you are, what do you produce, what you do for people, what's your role in the community. So you have to increase this exposure, all right? Then you say, uh, well, we said, that there was another element that it was really important to create the brand recall or the brand recognition and also the brand identity. Uh, it was developing a loyal community, developing a loyal community. Okay, you need to do or take actions for long-term business success. It's not just a film, right? Or it's a boom and it ends. No, uh, it ends. No, we need something that uh, lasts in time, right? That lasts in time. And it's uh, one of the objectives of branding and branding awareness, right? Branding in general, remember that it had different um, components and we can refer this, uh, naming our product, naming our organization, naming our business and um, we can, we can also name or brand a person in our business, right? Uh, for example, if I mention names of people, for example, Donald Trump, okay? Donald Trump, does he have an image? Does he have an image? A commercial image, does he have it? image. Ha, huh. this is another element, okay? The image, how people perceive your brand, how people perceive your product, your business, your activities, your strategies, okay? So 
we're going to say that the branding is um, oriented to create strategies for different types of branding, okay? For the different types of branding. And there is not only one model. If I say something, maybe if I say this other name, Messi, yeah, Messi. Is that a brand for you? Is that a name? Is that an image? Do you know who um, Messi is? Do you know what yeah, Messi, Messi does? Messi. Messi is a personal brand. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I say, for example, Rihanna. Rihanna. It's the same case. Okay. So. He's a singer. You know what she does. You know her work, okay? Not the job, but the work, the product she produces, right? Uh, her image, her own image. So we can create strategies to brand person, product, organization, okay? And in all of the types of branding we are trying to build, uh, we have different uh, stages, right? We have different stages. And there are different models according what your product or your client as a product need. So let's go to page 34. Okay, let's go to page 34 and your manuals. In this page, you'll find some concepts, okay? Descriptions of this stage. How brand awareness is built or created. Sometimes it's not just to acquire it because it is right there, no. This is not a destiny thing, right? It's not a thing of the destiny. Uh, it is something created. It's something, um, a, let's say, built, right? Built. Putting the right elements in the right place with the right promotion, okay? In order to obtain the best results in money and profits, okay? So let's go to page number 34 in our manuals and there we're going to find this a box or chart and it's a much uh, activity, okay? This much activity. Remember that our unit topic is loyalty. We want to get there, right? So here we are. Okay, thank you, Rafael. Very good. Uh huh. Bye. Ahora eh, quiero escucharlos a ustedes. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer esta dinámica? Vamos a ver. Leamos primero la instrucción. Let's read the instructions to know what this is about. Okay. This is a building vocabulary. So these are terms that we must um, eh, integrate or use in our everyday vocabulary, right? Uh, in our workplaces, right? In our workplaces. Uh, please, uh, Rafael, read the instructions. And after that, after Rafael reads the instructions, uh, voy a, a ponerme en mute. I will mute myself. And you are going to comment these uh, stages and descriptions and definitions. Okay? So please, Rafael, read the instructions. Okay. Building vocabulary. Brand awareness is the ability 
of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. The following are some stages of brand awareness. Match the stages of brand awareness to their description. Very good. So now I will mute myself and you talk about these definitions, okay? And solve the match activity, all right? Pero quiero oírlos a todos, ¿verdad? Abran ahí su micrófono, intégrense, vamos. I think top of mind is the first brand customers can think of for a pro category. Recognition for me, a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. I, for me, the, oops, I'm sorry. For, uh, I, I think, I think the now brand is a, a customer don't recognize your brand. For me, recognition is customer can recalling identify a particular product just with a visual read or I don't know. talk about the one brand recall i'm going to write the number in the in the sentence brand recall oh. i'm not sure but uh, i don't know if you agree the number two. Brand recall is customers can recall. Yes, it's correct. Number two. Number two, yes. Yeah, like that. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Brand dominance. A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when giving a product category. Sorry. <laughs> very good job and very good reasoning, guys. 
Um, this is a, something according the kind of product you are thinking of, okay? The product you are having as a reference when you see these, uh, these stages. Um, yesterday, I, I said something about the dominance, for example. And I said that you see the brand anywhere, any time, wherever, whenever, okay? And it means that they feel, and the position in your mind is so that um, you can't recall any other brand, all right? That's dominance. You can't recall any other brand, but one, okay, that's the dominant, okay, that's the dominant. In that category of products, for example, if I say something, I don't know, uh, about beverages, okay, beverages, and you think about one brand, okay, of beverage, uh, like for excellence would be Coca-Cola, right? So that's dominance. And sometimes you can think about any other after you do some reasoning okay? and you come uh, to, your, I mean, you bring to your mind some others, right? Some other products. Okay, but dominance is that, that you can recall any brand but yours, right? For a particular product. I think it's, uh, let's say inverted, the one and the four. Mm, I think uh, the brand recall is a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when giving a product category. Okay. As if I say, for example, as yesterday we did an exercise and I said ice cream and you said uh, el sin rival, right? So, yeah that's recalling, yeah, that's recalling, that's recognition, that's top of mind. Y a veces todo eso viene a quedar como en una sola cosa, ¿verdad? En la identificación, identity. Entonces, en este caso, así como definición, sería el uh, número cuatro sería instead of the number one and number one instead of number four. Okay, that's my opinion about this. All right. That's right. Okay, people. Nos vamos a ir a los breakup rooms. We are going to the breakup rooms and we are going to uh, do like a game, but at the same time, you will present or you will share our, uh, your uh, results, okay? We're having fun, just a little, you know what, this is not working. Okay, this one we set for right here. Four, and this will be number one. Okay, so I will clear all drawings and let's move. Is there any questions so far about this activity? This one? Questions? All clear? Clear with our chat. Like our chat. <laughs> okay, good. Like El Rio Grande in winter. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is the activity. You are going to interview a classmate, okay? And you are going to take note about the brands that are top of mind. And you will complete the chart with your own information and with a partner's information, okay? For example, you are going to ask the question and you will think about a product, the first one that comes to your mind, then you're going to write it right here. And the then you ask the question to a partner and then your partner answer will be in this uh, space, in this blank. Okay, so with this one and the same with this one and the same with this one, all right? And then when we come back, you will share your results. So please take notes, okay? No solo vamos a ir a platicar, vamos a ir a tomar notas, hacer este esquema, okay? Bien. ¿Cuántos oyentes tengo hoy? How many listeners do I have tonight? One, two, three. Oh, okay, Lorena. Ah, but she's not in. Just to try to connect.
are the samples of ice cream products lo lo locally? Example of ice cream. Eh, a brand or a flavors? Flavors, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, the product ice cream on or on or, 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 or brown. Uh, okay. Uh, and I don't know the the, the ice cream. Of ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Maybe what? the flavors. A yeah. brand. Oh, brand. Okay. Um. For example, Boston. Boston. Boston, Boston ice cream. Boston is local. Local. Ah, no, verdad. La nevería. Vamos a hacer este. Eh, yo tengo problemas para, para entrar a mi WhatsApp, entonces no sé si, si ha enviado alguna actividad por ahí. No sé si me puedes ayudar. Uh, in the manual, uh, the page 34. Ah, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. The teacher share us the imagine in the chat for your reference. Yeah, perfect. Okay. del mismo sabor, todo eso. Y le dijo, cuando se lo sirvió, le dijo, son cuatro dólares. Y, ¿Qué? Él en su cerebro tuvo que pagarlo. No, pero hay como hay baratos. Bueno, yo esos he pagado de los de chorri, chorro yo, de yo los que he probado en San Julián son los que están en, en el mero pueblo. Ah, adentro. Ajá, en, en tras cabalito del mero centro. Ajá. Y uh -huh. al entrar está el, 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 el parquecito. En el parquecito uh -huh. hay una tiendita. Ahí, justo ahí, en ese chalecito, te venden eh, batido. Batido le, le llaman a ella. Uh -huh. Pero es de la leche directa de la vaca. Le, yo le pregunté, mire, ¿esta leche qué marca es? Le dije yo, así, ah, me pidieron. Uh -huh. No, me dice, esta es leche de vaca. Mm, interesante. Sí. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. When I went uh, San Julian City. Well, no. When I go to when San I Julian go, City, or yeah. I pass through, uh, I go to the Central Park uh, San Julian because <laughs> because. Uh, in the the bike will be the la palabra esquina okay let's say in the central park there's a store they they sell a milkshake on the corner thank you teacher on the corner of the central park there's a store they sell a ice cream and I hear uh, the seller. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, may you tell me uh, what brand is this uh, milk? And she told me, no, no, this is this is this has not a brand because it, it is direct of the cow. Uh, yeah, she told me, and I said with my head, hey, it's okay, it's good. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's delicious and it's a uh, cheaper, very, very cheaper, the best cheaper. 
it costs uh, uh, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents. Okay. And uh -huh. Wilbert, this mm -hmm. is I cream, this is artisanal, artisanal, right? Yes, it is artisanal yeah. and, it is, and it is good. It is. Yes, it is very good, very delicious. Yes. <laughs> I had it in this moment. <laughs> I need a, I need a, an ice cream in this moment. Hey, me too. <laughs> okay. It, it, how much? Uh, it, it costs uh, 50 cents, teacher. It's, it, it's cheap. It it's cheap, very yeah. cheap and it's delicious. I recommend. So if you go to to Sonsonate, don't go to, to Sonsonate. Uh, take a desvío, como le puedo decir? Hey, you got me. <laughs> so your left, don't, don't, don't get to Sonsonate <laughs> and go to San Julian City and visit them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and in my case, what are, what are example of ice cream produced locally here? I don't know any brand uh, locally, but I can say Neveria, uh, Boston. Boston, never yeah. Uh huh. Uh, other other ice cream is very good. It's a uh, sin rival. Okay. Sí. Creo que es algo vieja esa marca. Yeah. Deviation or detour. Deviation or detour. Deviation. Deviation or detour. Or ah. Son dos palabras, pero el mismo significado. Yes, Deviation. exactly. Uh -huh. Deviation of Deviation sounds better for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, and the next question says, Cosman. What's the name of the of a computer company identified by the particular fruit? Apple. Apple. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> it's unique. Este t-shirt es lo que yo puse y que es lo que tú consideras que es Kleenex. Mm, ya. Yeah. Y okay. por ejemplo, aquí yo he puesto What's your favorite movie te tetra? Yo puse Cinépolis. Mm, y falta que coloquemos tu respuesta, digamos. Mm, ya. Yeah. Um, I'll play. Mm. Hello? Teacher. Hello, Ulises. Explain what what a clinic is, or you you don't know what is clinics. Yes, no, it's. I have more clear, but I don't know how to how how to say the name 
about cleaning. You, you don't know what is Kleenex? Oh, yes, you know. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. I, I'm going to write that you don't know what is Kleenex. I, I think that is, that's okay. That is no problem. Uh, my partner. Done. No. Okay. And the last question, Lisa. What's your favorite movie the theater? Theater. Theater. What's your favorite movie theater? Um, what's the name? Uh, cinema. Cinema. I cinema. Uh, I cinema. Put, I put Cinepolis, but for you is cinema. Yes, yeah, cinema. Okay. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. And this is the answers. When we were talk about the examples of ice cream produced locally, I, I said sin rival. And you, I will listen, said La Nevería. And when we... Okay, people, are you ready to share? Are you guys ready to share? Okay, let's start by uh, Boris, Karen, and San uh, Karen Sanchez, and Nelson Albert. Okay, share with us what are the brands that come to your mind when you think about the products of those categories. Okay, for the first question, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Uh, with Boris, uh, we we thought uh, could be Sarita ice cream, Rio Soto, and Mellow. Okay, so you had a lot of tra uh, of trademarks, right, or brands. Okay, yeah. it's not only one. You don't prefer only oh. one brand. Oh, Do you? Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. That's what comes here. 
Uh, that's what comes to your minds, right? So it's okay. What about the next question? What were your answers? What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Apple. <laughs> okay. Apple. Not Only peach, that. right? Peaches. Only peach, that. Peach. Oh, it's an expensive oh. brand. Oh, okay, Apple. <laughs> okay. Oh, only, only that picture. Only that oh, one. Other, yeah. Other, uh, other, yeah. Other, other, other. No, because or it's the, about computers. So about computers, the, the only one is machine, Apple. Macintosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Macintosh, yeah. But you didn't think about it, it when you a, think about the Apple. You just say Apple, right? <laughs> uh -huh. So that's recognition. That's recognition. Okay. Um, now, continue uh, Ulisse, with the next question. I mean, uh, okay. And the first question, what are our example of ice cream produce locality? Kevin said, uh, Sim Rival and for me, it's Neveria. And the second, uh, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? And Kevin told me Apple and the same uh, answer, Apple for me. Okay. And can you explain what a cleaner is? Uh, Kevin told me to use it for cleaning. And I, I don't know a specific okay. answer. Okay, but do you know Kleenex? The uh, product? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 clinic is a it's a baby skin care wipes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And also for your nose, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, or, or the hands or the the or the or the face. Okay, Clean for it. your face. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Usually, when is, it, okay. is the mm -hmm. uh, how do you say pompies the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Baby's pompies. <laughs> Baby's pompies. <laughs> That's a good term. <laughs> All right. I I I, okay. I use okay. it. The, I okay. use it uh, for my baby. Oh, it's okay. A, <laughs> it's the, okay. The, clean, the, the 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 body. No, okay. It's a. a, a uh, when when she is have a uh, uh, two 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 moms on on three moms. Oh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, yeah. that's Kleenex. It's a tissue, as um, Kevin said, right? Tissue is un papel, yeah, un eh, como el handkerchief mm -hmm. de tela, verdad? Solo que de papel, a tissue. ¿Verdad? All right. O toallitas so, húmedas con olor. Ah, that's white. Wet wipes. Wipes. Wet wipes. Wipes. Hmm? wipes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And the last uh, question is, what is your favorite movie? Theater? Theater. Eh. How? Theater. Movie theater. theater. Así, uh, sacamos theater. la lengua oh. así como, como la zeta, ¿verdad? De zapato theater. igual. Theater. 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 Huh? 
Okay, it's theater. Theater. Um, um, Kevin told me Cinepolis and for me, cinema. Okay, that was your that that was the brand that come to your mind at the time that you think about a theater, okay? And then we can ask a lot of questions about each brand you uh, mentioned. But if you see all of them, all of them are recognizable brands mm, for a lot of reasons, right? As I was saying, it could be the taste, it could be you preferred that brand because of the price. You remember that mm, brand because of the products they offer. Uh, maybe because of the promotion strategies they've got like um, advertisements or by social media, right? You recall them, you recognize them because of the visual elements, right? As we said, uh, if you think about hamburgers, what's the brand that comes to your mind? Hamburgers. Burger King. Burger King, all right. Mm -hmm. Biggest. Okay, I Wendy's. Still, okay. Uh, delicious, delicious. All right, usually McDonald's. Usually McDonald's. That's my uh, brand, right? So McDonald's. And... Um, for example, if we said the uh, this product, it's recognizable in one specific month of the year, but the whole year is open, right? It's available to Donuts. Mr. Donuts. Yeah, Donuts. Mr. Donuts. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not Prismer, mm -hmm. <laughs> but Mr. Donuts. Okay. Uh, I will say another thing, okay? Uh, popcorn, popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn? Really, I, I don't know a brand about- popcorn. I buy Act 2, okay? I love Act 2. <laughs> Act 2, that's the name. Yeah, that's the name of the product. Now, if I say, uh huh, I don't know, no, no, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ham. When you go to the supermarket and think about ham, Toledo brand. Okay, Toledo, that's yours. Very good. Uh huh. Is it the same for you? Um. Boris, when you go to buy ham, mm, sorry, uh, repeat, repeat ham. Please. What's the brand of ham that comes to your mind? Uh, 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 brand Toledo. Toledo brand. Okay, all right. I prefer food. Uh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's think another product. Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, Hosman, díganos. Una categoría de productos así en general y vamos a decir una marca que se nos viene a la mente de acuerdo a nuestras preferencias, ¿ok? So, vamos, Josman. Ok. Um, ok, uh, la cuestión es si and technology of the TV. Ah. Hmm. Hey, Samsung. RCA. Uh -huh. Sony. RCA. Okay, Sony. Good. Wow, well, Sony. It's really expensive, right? But yeah, Sony. Good. Yeah. RC. Dinjang. Hey. <laughs> okay. RCA. Very good, Wilbur. <laughs> Which one was it? Bridgets. Yeah, but Wilbur said another brand. Jing Jang. Jing Jang. Okay. Yes, but in marketplace. Huh? Uh, all right. Over there near El Bolivar, right? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Yeah, I like that. Aha. Uh -huh. A ver, otro producto, Wilbur. Another product or brand or business. Uh, vehicles. Uh -huh. Jeep.
Uh huh. Cars, right? Vehicles. Toyota. Okay, good. For excellence, right? For excellence. Excellence, they say too. Yeah. Okay, because of the price, all right. Quality, mm -hmm. quality price. Nissan. Okay, I'm sorry? Nissan. Oh, yes, Nissan. Uh huh. Good. Now, another a product, Kevin. T shirts. T shirts. Hey, everybody, a brand. Pierre Cardin. Which one, uh, Wilma? Oh, San Jacques. Oh, San Jacques, yes. I uh have -huh. Pierre Cardin. It's good Levis. too. Levis. Levi's? Levi's, Levi's. Levi's, okay. Well, another product, Elias. Maybe Samsung? Okay, oh. but... Uh, a product. Apple. What do you think? What do you think when you think about Samsung, guys? Um, cell phones. Cell phones. All right. Cell phones. Television. Television. Okay. PlayStation. Mm, okay. No. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know what do, what Samsung does. And Nelson, tell us another product. Shoes. Sure. Uh huh. Shoes. Yeah. Night. Night. Rainbow. Puma. Puma. Magicos. 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 Okay. Uh huh. If you well, the first one that came to John my Deere. mind it was Adok. Okay, the mine, the the first brand. Pardon. Came. Yeah, but this is another one, but no, it came to my mind like ad hoc, but I just wait for you to say it. Yeah, but nobody said it. Everybody said about tennis and sport wear, right? Uh huh. Nobody thought about everyday wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like formal and casual wear. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, so this is branding. And if you see the elements are uh, the visual elements, the quality of the product, and the attributes of the product that makes customer customers to recall, to recognize, to identify, um, to prefer, and also to put it right at the top of their minds. Okay, that's um, branding. That's the, um, let's say, that's the mm, main purpose of branding, okay? That our name is in everybody's mouth. Okay, so let's think about the grammar we want to study today, okay? The grammar we want to study today. For example, we have these, uh, expressions, right? In our manual, we have how to use expressions to clarify a point, okay? Because we have different expressions, but they have um, maybe a structure, a specific structure for, um, for a purpose. Okay, for let's say a specific purpose. So let's read the grammar box we have in the book. The grammar box we have in the book explain us what's the use of these expressions and what expressions they are. So let's read it. says how to use expressions to clarify a point. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification 
the explanation or exemplification of our ideas as we speak use in other words that is to say simply put or put simply etc to make your point clear to others read the first example who wants to read the first example is it okay uh lorena are you there do you want to read please number one okay teacher uh, one way to help your target market light and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, read a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Edu, educates. Edu, educates. Yes. Aquí no sería una D como la de nosotros, sino que con una D adentro. Ju educates, right? Educates. Educates. Yes. Like Juca, right? Educates. Educates. Yeah. One way to help. So let's read. After the comma, we have this bolded um, expression. In other words, in different words, right? We are adding something extra. And we are saying the same expression we said, but in different words to make it clear. For example, it says one way. One way of what? Of helping, right? Or one way to help your target market like uh, and trust you is to publish, okay? Often through online channels. Entonces, ¿cuál es una de las um, formas? Ah, es to, to publish, ¿verdad? Esto sería como lo que estamos diciendo en, en punto, ¿verdad? Digamos, esta es nuestra información, ¿sí? In other words, in other words, ¿qué es lo que estamos clarificando? ¿La forma o estamos clarificando cómo publicar? Ah, veamos entonces, it says, write a blog that informs. Ah, then it's to publish, right? To publish. Often through online channels, what am I going to publish? Uh, in other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates, okay? Publish blogs and entertainment blogs or content and educational content, but you have to publish that through online channels. So in other words, this, this, and that, okay. Number two, so, tell me. Teacher. Mm -hmm. blog is similar a content yes because blog is uh where you can express yourself freely your opinions your um expressions activities your experiences and your life right maybe your knowledge or your investigation your results of investigations or research you do so blogs Yes, blogs. And it says that in forms. So it's like um, pointing to a specific content in the blog, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right. Number two, who wants to read number two? Me Would you please. like, okay, please, Kevin. Two, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by de developing a podcast. That is, record your talks and allow your customers to download it. Okay, you can say, that is to say, you can say just to say, or you can say that is, okay, without to say. So this is, uh, like this, right? Uh, let's write it down. Let's type it in right here. Because you can use it in different ways. Uh, but this is structure, okay? That is, ta, 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 right? Or to say, ta, ta, ta. 
Okay. I can say that is Tuesday. Ta ta ta. Or I could say just um well that is to say or that is to say. Yeah, that's to say. Mm -hmm. I can also contract it. All right. That's ta 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 or that's to say. Okay. So you can use any of these structures and you are saying exactly the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it is not necessary, this expression. Sometimes it is not necessary, but it enhances your speaking. So it's important you to use them, right? When you are uh, talking to a podium or auditorium or an audience, right? You use this to enhance your speech. So let's read number three. Today's customers are looking for warranties, simply put, exceptional service after they have producers purchase your product okay uh, purchase 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 your product okay so what are we explaining or clarifying cl clarifying here uh a, the customer is looking for guarantees what kind of guarantees well actually exceptional service after they have purchased the product Todo esto, todo esto yo lo dijera, simply put, after sales service. That's it, right? Too much words for me, but yeah. You can just explain this like simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased their product. Okay, number four. Esto es como decir en pocas palabras, right? Or saying uh, something plain. It is like this and no other way sometimes. So number four, number four. Elise, please read number four. Another free marketing reduce resource for your current internet customer is even inventing them inviting, inviting. inviting inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Group, uh -huh. yes. exactly. Namely is a word that we use when we want to specify exactly something. So like if you say to be more specific, this and this and that, or as its name, it na I'm sorry, as its name is, ta, ta, ta. so a specific name, a specific, um, a, let's put it this way, um, you say the name of it, okay? You say the topic of it, you say the category of it, uh, eso en español podría ser como llámese, right? Llámese, tal cosa. So, namely. Yeah. Number five. Edwin, please read number five. Yes. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market, market think of you. This, which means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. All right. So if we are talking about a goal in marketing, right? And if it says the ultimate, well, actually is the main purpose, right? Marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. Branding, right? Branding. So they are thinking about you, recalling, recognizing, and your name is right there in the market. All right, it says the goal means, right? 
which mean. Puedo usar this mean o puedo usar which mean. Okay. So this means, esto significa, right? I, what did I do? Or this means. Okay, esto significa o lo que significa, right? Lo que significa que in Spanish. So we say this means that, okay? That, oh, there it is. And which means that, all right? And then you say like the explanation on what's the meaning of what you are saying, right? Uh, you can clarify, you can explain, and you can give examples using these expressions, okay? Using these expressions. And the first one, you are like, um, let's say, clarifying, right? And, and this, uh, number two, maybe you are uh, explaining, right? And this, you are clarifying too. And this one, you are giving an example, right? Giving an example. And, and this one, you are defining or clarifying or explaining, right? It means that, okay? This means that. And there are a lot. Mm, they are not only these ones. They are not only these ones. You can structure in your own way, some expressions, but they are all related to the same meanings, right? Clarifying, explaining, and giving examples. Okay, is there any question so far? Okay, this okay. is for, okay, this is for formal speaking, right? Formal speaking. Um, Maybe in informal, you are not going to use them, use them because if you take them, I mean, if you take them away or if you, or despite them, the meaning is the same, right? For example, if I say, mm, you can increase your writing as an expert and reach a bro broader market by developing a podcast record your talks and allows your customers to download it. So I don't really need it. But if I want to put it like explaining the podcast in a formal speech or in a formal speaking, then I am going to use this to enhance and to mark, okay? To make the uh, definition that what it follows is an explanation or I am clarifying my point, okay? So let's go and check the uh, exercise. I'm still sharing, just give me one sec. No, it is good.
I can't. Si se miraba bien, ¿verdad? Ya es dicha. Okay, here it was. Okay. Here we are. Es que hasta ahorita me dice you are screen sharing. Participants can now see. Ahora sí ya me lo dijo. Ya ahora ya sé que sí. También pensé que no estaban mirando y como nadie me decía nada, pensé, ah, pues no están viéndolo. <laughs> ok. Sí lo estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Perdonen, disculpen, yes, pero teacher, tengo yes, que yes, asegurarme. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All, right. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, people, it says insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Add the necessary punctuation to join the, the clause and a phrase together, okay? Okay, let's read the example. Wilbur, please read the example, number one. Okay, teacher. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. Okay. Se me movió todo y no. Ah, es que tengo abierto el texto. Here we are, right? Yes, it's okay. Ahora sí. Okay, there we are. Ajá, simply put, simply put. So it means that with, you're just clarifying your point in some word, short word. One concept, right? Uh, it says, uh, in, uh, in, even it can be only one thing, right? Only one thing, like a noun or a compound noun. So it says, simply put, social networking sites, right? What is this? Well, the broad awareness is awareness is to generate online advertising. Se refiere entonces a online advertising. What is that? The online advertising, the social networking sites. Now, number two, brand recognition is a very, I'm sorry, I will ask for someone who read it, okay? Uh, let's see, please, do you mind reading? Number two, Lorena? Okay, teacher, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness uh, in other words the customer the consumer knows that a particular brand exists okay so if you see this is a concept right uh, brand awareness is a concept it's a definition uh, but maybe it's a term right maybe people don't know the technical expression right that they, they don't know what it really means in marketing or they don't really need this in simple words. And if we want to give the definition of something, then we can use different expressions alike. Uh, in this case, it's not okay to say simply put. We're gonna say in other words, for example, or in another way, right? Uh, in other words, y defino lo que voy a decir, right? In other words, gives a definition, right? Uh, so here it is. I will write it down. So number three. Who wants to read number
-hmm. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I forgot the word. Um, he, Lo tenía, teacher, lo tenía, pero se me olvidó. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe wish me. Okay, let's see. Yes, it is. Thank yeah. you, Lauren. Which means? You think so? Namely, it is namely. Namely? namely? Yes. No, se me suena a esta cosa. Bueno, eh, namely, why namely, eh, Wilbur? Uh, because he uh, he is a ¿Qué es lo que estamos queriendo explicar? Comencemos uh, por ahí. Uh -huh. uh, the number, the number what? Uh, uh, well, the number what is uh, take a, a reference, something like that. <laughs> okay, so are we explaining? Are we clarifying? Are we adding information or giving an example? Yes, namely in other in other in another world the 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 Bible product logo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something like so that. You want to say namely, right? Yes, okay. I guess. All right. If we say namely, let's read it. How it sounds. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely by viewing the product's logo. Okay. Like Yamese, right? The product's logo viewing the yes and this is a noun right this is a noun yeah this is a noun a a la vista right or por ver yeah no exactly this is a verb this is a verb and this is the noun okay yeah it could sound good with namely uh let's read number four let's read number four because like a specifying, right? Uh -huh. Number four, please, Hosman, can you read number four? These brands have become well known. <clears throat> they have replaced the common, therefore similar product in our language. Okay. And what's the phrase that goes well right here? Si identificamos, tenemos dos oraciones, ¿verdad? O dos ideas diferentes. Tenemos la idea primera, la uno que tenemos al principio, que define algo, ¿verdad? O tira cierta información encriptada, ¿verdad? Y la segunda viene a ser la que explica, clarifica, O da un ejemplo. Sí. Si da un ejemplo, podríamos decir namely. Si da un ejemplo, eh, podríamos decir también specifically. Yeah. Eh, también cuando estamos eh, clarificando algo, pues podemos decir which means. Cuando damos la definición de algo que solo dijimos un término, por ejemplo, podemos decir which means. O de una acción completa, podemos decir esa acción significa esto. Ok which means, that means, pero también existe otra que solamente como una explanation o como mm, stating something, 
o affirming something. Mm, como decir también, that is to say, right? That is to say. Entonces, veamos, eh, por eso a mí en, la en esta número tres, me da más la idea, that is to say, porque hay una acción, ¿verdad? Pero veamos number four. Number four, tenemos las dos acá, ya las identificamos. Ajá. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a definir o qué es lo que vamos a clarificar? Esto de well known, ¿verdad? Well known. Ajá. Entonces, ¿lo clarificamos, lo definimos o lo explicamos acá? Veamos. En la siguiente dice, they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Ah, entonces aquí nos está explicando exactamente lo que significa eh, ser bien conocido o conocido de una forma eh, eh, bien, sí, bien conocido, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces. Uh -huh. Which Entonces, means that. Ah, ex, podría ser which means. Ajá. Uh -huh. Podría ser which means. They have replied, replaced el well known, which means, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. Which means. Uh -huh. Which means suena muy bien. Vamos a ponerle which means. Y lo vamos a leer. Ok, vamos a ver, ah, pero me falta la H, which means. Ok, vamos a ver en la siguiente. You have to publish, I'm sorry. Boris, please, number five. You have to publish high quality common content by creating valuable, valuable content to be introduced to new audience. Okay, this is for example, right? For example, creating valuable content, right? This is for example, because you have to publish, to exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, could be to say, pero veamos en los ejemplos que tenemos arriba, ¿sí? Ajá, podríamos poner incluso simply put, en pocas palabras, ¿verdad? Ahí podríamos poner eso también. Simply put, que es exactamente esto, lo mismo a esto, explicado en pocas palabras. No es solo una definición de concepto, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver acá. Uh -huh. Acá. By creating, podría ser simply put. ¿Ok? A ver, también puede ser... Uh, a ver... That is to say, mm, that is to say también puede ser, ¿verdad? That is to say también puede ser. Entonces, pongámosle el... Uh, simple put. Simple put. Mm -hmm. Simple put, pero en simple put estamos diciendo en pocas palabras, ¿sí? Creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. Ok. Ahí tenemos, eh, a veces podemos usarlo a, nuestro, a nuestra manera de acuerdo a cómo nosotros tenemos nuestro estilo de habla. Um, pero siempre teniendo en cuenta que estoy clarificando, que estoy explicando y que estoy dando ejemplos. I am explaining, I am clarifying, and I am um, maybe giving additional information or just giving the same information, uh, but in other words, okay? In other words. So, um, simply put, it's used when we say something shorter. Defining something, but shorter, okay? So, everybody agrees? Or do you have any other opinion? I agree with Boris. Uh... It sounds better that is by that, creating value. This one? Five? Yes, yes, uh, that's my opinion. Okay, that is. Let's read it. You have to publish high quality content. That is by creating valuable content to be introduced. Okay, that's good too. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. That is. 
pero sí, eh, no sé si notan que cambia un poquito eh, eh, suavemente, digamos, o levemente cambia eh, como la concepción o el razonamiento de lo que sigue, ¿verdad? Namely, por ejemplo, es para específicos. In other words, es decir, exactamente lo mismo, pero eh, con otras palabras similares o sinónimos o eh, decirlo de otra manera, dándole vuelta ¿verdad? al sujeto con el con el complemento, ¿verdad? Les damos vuelta. Eh, ahora, which means es definitivamente dar una definición, ¿verdad? Which means es definitivamente dar una manera, ¿ya? Yeah? Eh, explicar, ¿verdad? Lo que estoy diciendo que es, que significa lo que ya dije, ¿sí? El simply put viene siendo nada más para decir And some word, like in summary, okay? Como in summary, right? Suena bien con Daris también. Suena bien con Daris. Ahora, en cierto momento, ustedes sentirán que eso va a sonar. Eh, ustedes van a ir encontrándolo. Fíjense que a veces tenemos este problema y esto es como un tip. Nosotros en español, pues obviamente tenemos un nivel nativo, ¿verdad? Nadie nos gana con el español. Pero a la hora de que queremos hablar otro idioma, lo queremos hablar como hablamos el español, ¿verdad? Eh, con un nivel bastante, si, si es muy educado nuestro idioma español, queremos hablar en ese nivel el otro idioma. Cuando apenas estamos como formando cada... Eh, peldaño, digamos, o cada pieza de todo el rompecabezas que es este lenguaje. Entonces, esa manera de tip es empezar a utilizar todos los términos eh, de la manera como decir según la regla. Pero poco a poco ustedes van a ver que la regla es ajustable y la regla es ajustable, pero les recomiendo que hagan listening, que vayan y vean, que escuchen eh, cómo se utiliza ese lenguaje, ¿verdad? Dentro de lo que ustedes normalmente miran, ¿verdad? Si ya vieron una película en español, cámbienla a inglés completamente. Ahí ustedes van a encontrar muchas similitudes y van a ir expandiendo el vocabulario. Este tema es uno de esos, ¿ok? Este tema es uno de esos. Entonces, eh, existen una gran cantidad de estructuras que podemos utilizar que prácticamente son unas frases. Entonces, a manera de dejarlo claro o a manera de dejarlo eh, ya por escrito, tenemos que para poder hablar de un punto podemos decir etcétera y etcétera de concepto, etcétera y etcétera de explicaciones y clarificaciones ¿verdad? o eh, ejemplos también. Entonces podemos usar otras expresiones como let me explain that, let me explain that in more detail. Let me put it in another way. Sorry, let me explain. In other words, que ya lo vimos, uh, to say this differently, to put it differently, simply put or put simply, to put it another way. Okay? Aquí nosotros tal vez vamos a sentir que nos falta el in another way. Pero no es necesario ponerle in. Let me put it another way. Okay, let me put it another way. Uh, so these are expressions that are useful when we want to clarify our concepts, definitions, explanations, and terms, and uh, concepts, ideas, uh, reasonings, etc. Okay. And that's it. That's it. I think we cover everything tonight about this. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there any question so far? No, teacher. 
Okay. Okay. You don't have any question, which means that it's the end of this class, right? So it is nine nine. 59 at this moment so I will call the roll so please everybody turn your camera on and when I call your name please tell me one of the expressions we can use to clarify our terms concepts definitions okay una de las eh, expresiones que acabamos de ver ya al final Eso vamos a decir en lugar de presente. You ready? Yes. Okay. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. In other words. Okay. Ana, uh, Boris Alexander Cortés. Cáceres. Simple put. Very good. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Pero si sí estaba conectado, ¿verdad, Carlos? Creo que está como oyente. Ok. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. In other hands. In other? Hand. Oh, that's another expression. By the other hand, okay? By the other hand, not in the other hand. Well, yeah, in the other hand. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, in the other hand, sounds good too. Thank you, Edwin. Yes. Um, Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Sorry, let me explain. Okay, there you are. Eulise Torres Torres. To put it another way. Very good. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. I remember namely. Okay, good. Uh -huh. eh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Which mean? Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. In November. Okay. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Let me put it another way. Very good. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Namely. Good. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Let me explain that. Very good. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. To say this differently. Very good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. In other words. Very good. So another way to say it. <laughs> we are at the end, right? <laughs> of this class. So hey, the session one on one is available. Who wants to stay? Me, teacher. Uh, so, See you tomorrow, okay. teacher. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Vale, déjenme animarlos, por favor. Necesito que ya ahorita y mañana, o sea, ya el día de hoy y mañana vayamos dejando terminada la plataforma para que salgamos a tiempo y que el día viernes no estemos con carreras porque nos van a celebrar el Día del Padre y por eso ya no vamos a poder seguir, teacher. Ya me tengo que ir, que mi esposa me hizo una sorpresa. Vea, Salvador. 
<risa> ok, ajá, este, no, vamos a tener todo listo porque tenemos fiesta, ¿verdad? Entonces ya es graduación, así que todo tiene que quedar listo. Eh, cada quien, a ver, quién quiere pollo, quién quiere pizza, vamos a hacer la votación para la graduación, no, hombre, son bromas. <risa> Entonces nos vemos el día de mañana, por favor, todos a terminar la plataforma. See you tomorrow and have a very good night. Good night. See you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Goodbye, Santiago. Goodbye, Carlos Ernesto. See you tomorrow. <laughs>